We've already discussed how to use the German bow, now let's discuss how to use the French bow. The first step is to find your good French bow hold. Then place the bow onto the string, let's use the D string, a little bit lower than the fingerboard, but closer to the fingerboard than the bridge. Again, pulling down bow, or moving the frog away from the string, play a D. And then play an up bow, moving the frog closer to the strings. Again, notice how the bow stays parallel to the bridge while playing it. It's important that we use the weight from our back and from our arm to relax the weight into the string while using the French bow. Rather than thinking of pressing into the string. On the German bow, the weight goes into the string from our thumb. With the French bow, it comes from the first finger. The weight will relax into the first finger and help us make a big, beautiful sound. Let's play some rhythms on open strings. Starting on the G string, let's play two notes with rests after each note. Let's repeat this on all four strings. Now to the D string. The A string. And the E string. Notice how when I change strings, my elbow moves with me, rather than trying to move from the wrist. Let's do another rhythm using that same pattern. Let's play three notes and then a rest, starting on the G string. On the D string. On the A string. And again on the E string. Let's do one last rhythm, four shorter notes, and two longer notes. Again, starting on the G string. D string. The A string. And again, on the E string. This is how we use the French bow.